The defendant says that he and his co-defendant were on the hunt to rape a child. A convicted sex offender collapses in front of a judge as prosecutors describe a disturbing plan to abduct a little girl. Tonight, two men are in jail accused of two attempted abductions from this weekend. One victim, a five-year-old girl, another 15. KETV News Watch 7's Delon Dillard was in the courtroom. He joins us live with what he's learned tonight. Delon. In Alexandria, David, both of those men remain behind bars here at the Douglas County Jail tonight under a $10 million bond. And county prosecutors say one of those suspects admitted to chilling details about the accused abduction. Off. Robert Williams faints as prosecutors break down his accusations. He and Antonio Johnson face a slew of charges, both accused of two attempted abductions over the weekend in Benson. A 15-year-old says she's one of those victims. I felt scared. I felt like, is this like the last time I'm going to see my, my brother and my cousins and my family. Douglas County prosecutors say Williams admitted the two tried to abduct a five-year-old just minutes later. Her father heard the girl's screams coming from the yard. During an interview, the defendant says that he and his co-defendant were on the hunt to rape a child, described himself as a pedophile, and described the attempts to get the, vic the second victim into the motor vehicle for purposes of both the defendant and the co-defendant raping her. Court records show both men have a lengthy rap sheet. The defendant was just convicted in 2018 for three separate counts of possession, uh, criminal attempt of possession of child pornography. He's on post-release supervision for those charges now. Williams and Johnson are now behind bars under a $10 million bond. And back here live, both of those men face multiple charges, including criminal conspiracy. Williams faces those charges along with kidnapping and, attempt, and, and attempted sexual assault charges. If convicted, both of those men could face up to 50 years in prison. We're live here at the Douglas County Jail tonight. I'm Delon Dillard, KETV Newswatch 7. All right, Delon, thank you. And this man is in jail tonight. Prosecutors believe Kevin Vick.